Good morning, I'm Rena Nainen. And hello to you all. I'm TJ Holmes with the top stories on this Wednesday, April 8th. We begin with that fatal police shooting in South Carolina. An officer behind bars this morning charged with murder. The video you're about to see can be difficult to watch. We're going to show you Officer Michael Slager. He's on the right side of the screen opening fire on Walter Scott as he runs away, shooting him several times in the back. Scott is then handcuffed as he lays face down on the ground. It's all started with a traffic stop over a broken taillight. Scott's heartbroken family saying the video proves the officer used excessive force. Jurors in the Boston Marathon bombing trial returned to deliberations this morning behind closed doors. Yesterday, they considered the charges against Jokar Zarnayev for more than seven hours without a verdict. Just before ending for the day, jurors sent the judge two notes with questions. They will receive answers this morning. Observers say a verdict might take a while. Well, the Gang of Thieves in London pulled off what may be one of the biggest heists ever, getting away with a reported $300 million in jewels. Police say the thieves disarmed a sophisticated security system and used heavy equipment to break into a vault in the city's Diamond District. Crime went undetected until yesterday morning when jewelers opened for business after the Easter holiday. And the ladies from Yukon are once again national champions. They beat Notre Dame last night in Tampa to claim the third straight title in the 10th national championship for the Huskies coach, Gino Oriema, tying him with legendary UCLA men's hoops coach, John Wooden. Every time Oriema has brought a Yukon team to the championship game, They've won, so a big congratulations to UConn. We'll get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Nainan. And I'm TJ Holmes. Thanks as always for watching.